I have no idea what this film's about. Hey, please don't smoke, it'll kill your palate. I know it's got him in it, and you Taylor Joy in it, and Voldemort in it, and that's all I know. And it's about cooking. 1250 ahead, that's how. 1250 ahead? So is it on a yacht? Who are they? Who are they in relation to her? Her parents? Maybe? I don't know. Tonight will be madness. Will it be? Will it be madness? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Chef Sloak would like to welcome you with a raw local oyster and a mignonette emulsion. Enjoy. Ooh. Thank you. And here's me eating popcorn, salted, with a hint of sweet. Alginate as in, um... As in algae. Is he going to keep talking down to her, Mr. Know-it-all? I love food. Is that right? Shut up. He's giving me I know more about food than you vibes, which might be the case. But don't talk down to her. That is the Anya Taylor-Joy you're talking to. Shut the fuck up. Know your fucking place, trash. Westerville? Sorry, yeah, no, that was, uh, it's not this way. It changed, changed the plans. I'm Marco. Hi. Oh, is Ms. Westerfeld, is that the name? Westerfeld, is that his ex? We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Ooh! That felt like a target got put on her back there. Brand, Mrs. Lee Brand, welcome. We'll just go straight to the restaurant. It's giving a bit of a horror vibe. <laughs> like, now they're stranded on an island. Like, I'm getting a bit of a sinister vibe. It's nice, it's gorgeous. We have reached the base camp of Mount Bullshit. This is I was literally about to say this. It literally feels like everyone's a bit fucking pretentious. Everyone's got a bit of money in this film. Chef holds himself to the highest standard and so do we. Now, who's hungry? It's given horror film. I don't know, like, it's, there's a sinister undertone to this. What the fuck? I thought we were gonna get like a film in Hill's Kitchen in New York. Mr. In his cottage. Nor is giving cannibal. It's given we're gonna eat human meat. It's given spooky ooky. Dookie. Kooky. I'm so fucking scared right now! You shut up! Here. Switch seats with me. Miss. Who is that? Is that our dad? I have a feeling it's our dad. Got the map wrong. But please do not. Photograph our dishes. Chef strongly feels. I right, put your phone away. Live in the moment. Put your phone away. Don't film. Don't record. Eat the food and enjoy it. You know, a Paco Jet can produce a powderized uh, snow like texture. He's given annoying energy. I have one. You really know your stuff, Mr. Ledford? Like, he's given. You know, oh, they know his name. Oh, we like to know everyone who dines with us. I'd love Why to don't talk you with take them. your seat? Girl, about to serve. it's given we're about to get cut up. We're about to die. There's evil energy. Evil! He is given he is. that he wants to be in that kitchen sucking every stars. Ooh. That was a really rude thing to say. He's given <laughs> he wants to be in that kitchen because he thinks he's better than everyone else. Did I lie? Did I lie? I think he's looking at Anna, Anya Taylor Joy. Something's up. Something's up. Amuse bush. Bush? Bouet? Bush? Amuse bush? You like the winter, don't you? There's something I don't like about this. Oh my god. What the fuck? You know how people idolize you know, athletes and musicians and painters and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people are idiots. Chefs, they play with the raw materials of life itself. Oh my god. It is given pretentious! Stop, don't. No, I'm being no. serious. I think I'm um, starting to get it. I don't get it. Like, slating other people's interests and hobbies just because you have your interest and hobby? Now that's how you clear up it! Over the next few hours, you will ingest fat, salt, but do not eat. And on that note, food. Do you know what? I think I'd actually do this. This seems fun. I like to eat. I'd like to, if I had the money, I would do it. If I was Anya Taylor-Joy and I got it paid for, why not? Are you sure about that? That's a cherry thought. Oh, girl. Are you crying? I find it all very moving. It's all so beautiful. I just... <laughs> girl. You know. Stop taking fucking photos. Oh, girl. Is he going to keep doing that? You get no bread. Hey. 
You think I'm going to eat bits of sauce? This emulsion does look slightly split. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. I noticed as soon as it came down. Look at him trying to impress her. Are they just trying to find problems with anything that they can? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are some rules that you should give a fuck about. Like, I don't know, giving food to people at a restaurant. Period. Here is another broken emulsion. <gasps> oh! He said, watch your fucking mouth. the hell is this bitch? It's giving sinister. You'll eat less than you desire and more than you deserve. What the fuck is going on in this film? I'm confused. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm getting cringe. I'm getting cringe vibes. I'm get, I'm, I actually need to be out of this room. The menu only makes sense if you eat. But you told us not to eat. Oh, she went, gotcha. For your concern, but I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat. Oh. I'm fucking nervous. What the fuck's going on? What on earth is going on in the House of Commons? Taco Tuesday. Bitch, what the fuck? Here, this lady here, this is my mother. Aha. Uh -huh. He proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. We hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. What's going to be on the tacos? What images? The restaurants that I reviewed that all closed. Tyler, is that you? <gasps> Taking the photos! Taking the photos like an idiot! What are these? These are tortillas. <laughs> Who is that woman? Oh, is it going to be Anya Taylor-Joy? Correct! Excuse hey, me, sir. Marga. Hi. Marga. Did you just fucking snap at me? No, child. What did you just call me? I called you a child. But you're fucking acting like it because ding dong, I'm the one who's paying, so maybe shut up and eat. What the hell? Fuck him. Patronizing dickhead. What's going on? You shouldn't be here tonight. Please get the fuck out of my way. Oh! Is it because she swapped places with the other girl? See, it's given evil energy. There's something off about this place. I don't trust her. I don't think she's a good person. Jeremy Loudon. Hey, Jeremy. It's called The Mess. The Mess? Is something gonna happen? Why is there a mat out? Is he gonna kill himself? I didn't see that coming. Come sit. part of the menu. What the fuck? Is this real? Bitch, what the fuck? I thought I thought it was going to kill himself. What are we eating, bitch? Pressure cooked vegetables, roasted fillet potato. R.I.P. Jeremy Loudon. It's not funny. It's really not funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Libra? We're leaving. Is something wrong? We're leaving. Uh, I don't think you're leaving. Ring finger. What? <laughs> Oh my god, they're not gonna do this! <gasps> fuck is going on? Holy fuck. I honestly think that this whole thing is just for our benefit. And this is incredible. <laughs> Would you think it's an act? I'd be like, is everyone around me actors? Am I the only person getting this experience? Like, what's fucking going on? We're all gonna die tonight. Isn't that right? Yes, sir! I knew there was sinister vibes! It was given sinister vibe! What was it? Protein or vegetable? Oh, he can... Period. Bitch, I'd wrestle him to the ground. I'd beat his ass. I'm about to beat this bitch up. I smoke all day, can't even fucking taste it. He's a... Such a... Do you know what? See, at that point, I'd like, I'm dying with the fucking cooks. I'm like, I'm not dying with this guy at this table. I'm dying with the cooks. Get, get to fuck. <laughs> fucking, yeah, you would shit yourself every time. <clears throat> oh, I hate him. I hate him. Is this bergamot I'm getting, chef? Yes, it is. He's such a tryhard, isn't he? He's such like a... You enable her filth. You buttress. More broken emulsion, madam. 
My my husband needs to go to the hospital. This is like a hostage situation. Uh, kindly name one dish you ate the last time you were here. Cod. It wasn't cod, you donkey. <laughs> <gasps> Are they gonna drown him? Girl, what do we do? What do we do? How do we get out of this? Mr. Liebrand, how do you know him? You've been eyeing him all evening. He told me to agree with everything he said and continue eye contact while he jerked off. Yeah. Oh, he told me to tell him that he was a good man and that I was his daughter and that he loved me and I loved him. So he's a romantic. So she's a she's a, a a lady of the night, shall we say? I haven't desired to cook for someone in ages. Talk to you very quickly. Come on, girl. Tyler is such a pick me bitch. Like pick me, pick me. Shut up, bitch. Three years ago, Julian Sloag tried to fuck me. I refused his advances. He kept me in his kitchen and refused to look me in the eye. Girl, what's happening? What's fucking happening? <gasps> in the balls? This is sick. This is sick. In the balls? In the scrotum? In the fucking testicles? Ah! <laughs> She's like pouring the wine. That'd be me. I'd be like, fuck it. Like, you just feel like, oh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know my husband. <laughs> oh, bitch! Yeah. I do. Right. <laughs> oh, everyone dying was my pitch, actually. Anybody want any wine? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Literally. I fucking love women. <laughs> She's like, take a seat. Take a fucking seat. You. Yes! Mm -hmm. Is he gonna die? What were you told ahead of time? That uh, everyone would die. Everyone would die. Mm -hmm. So you brought Margot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd kill him myself. So you hired her knowing she... <gasps> I don't need to... I need to kill Tyler! What the fuck? I didn't realize Tyler hired her. Of course he did. Fuck Tyler. You are a disgusting person to me. Tyler, now cook. What? I'm so happy. What do you need? We have everything. Please Don't be frightened. To observe a demonstration. Want, um... And he's gonna not know a single thing because he's a fucking tryhard. Because he's a tryhard. Because he's a little bag. He's a freak. A new, uh, a new dicing method of which we have been woefully ignorant. What next? I've never felt stress like this. She, she, I'd love it if I was her. See if I was Margo. If I was Margo, I'd be watching like this. I'd be like smoking my fag, being like enjoying every fucking second of it. Fuck Tyler. Oh my God, I can't actually watch this film. Tyler's bullshit, undercooked lamb, inedible shallow leak for her sauce, our lack of cohesion. Here he is! Fuck Tyler! What's he saying? Tell the class, come on, tell us all. I wanna know. We strive for perfection, which of course does not exist, and that is a, a hard truth. I mean, that's true. I agree with him there. Oh. She's like, today, am I meant to care? Am I meant to be upset? Am I meant to feel sorry for that bitch? Cause I don't. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Fuck Tyler. How many fuck Tylers can fit into a video? Fuck Tyler. Do you want to know why you're being punished? I want to know too. I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. Oh. Allowed to live. Oh. I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine alone. And he's killing him for the bad performance. I, I'm seeing you again now. <laughs> haunts me. <laughs> me. What to an no one is allowed inside Chef's house. Do you think you're special? I'd be like, then why are you here, bitch? Uh, trust me, I have no. <laughs> oh, bitch! <laughs> oh, bitch, get a weapon! 
<laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, not the back, old jet. Is this part of the menu? Is it all part of the fucking menu? I liked Anya's reaction to that. Um, that like, you've just killed someone that whole like, oh my God, fuck. My God. Take your seat. <laughs> She's cunt, she's cunt. She's giving cunt. How would you not say cunt? Like that's cunt, like. I see you found our radio. Clear the dining room immediately. Ask yourselves two things. One, if you really want to be... Oh, it's all part of the menu. I got a report of disturbance. What kind of a disturbance? Oh, bitch. Hands on your head. Oh, Everyone, oh, now. No, no, no. You're, you're joking. No. You're joking. Fuck. Fuck. You. No, no, no. I knew it was part of the fucking menu. I knew it was part of the fucking menu. I knew it was part of the fucking menu. I hate this film. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> this is intense. I try not to kill myself. <gasps> Period. I don't like your food. What? And I would like to send it back. She knows. She knows. She she's she's playing the game. She's playing the game. You've taken the joy out of eating. You failed, and you bored me. I'm still fucking hungry. How hungry? Starving. Starving. <laughs> A cheeseburger. Oh! And he was flipping burgers. That was his first fucking job. I'll make you feel as if you're eating the first cheeseburger you ever ate. <laughs> And is he going to enjoy making this because he's actually doing what he used to do? Yes. Like this is his old job, so he's actually going to enjoy cooking it because he's lost the love for cooking. I mean, it doesn't excuse everything else, but you know, this is what cooking should be about. It's the simple things, the easy things. None of this avant-garde, expensive bullshit that, you know, rich folk in the food industry likes. Sometimes it's fine to have a McDonald's. As long as you're enjoying what you cook and what you eat, that's all that matters. Shh. Oh, I bet that fucking t tastes so good. Unfortunately, I think my eyes were a little bigger than my stomach. Can I get the rest to go? Of course, a cheeseburger. Just a well-made cheeseburger. Bitch! Final girl. Final girl. Yeah, fuck them all. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. Boop, 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 boop. Is she dead? Boop, 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 boop. You represent the ruin of my art. That's it. That's it. This is good. It's a satire on the on the food industry and how, how people are so pretentious and up themselves. And sometimes it's nice to just enjoy a bit of fucking food. Are those marshmallows? <gasps> are they cooking them alive? Are they going to burn them alive? Like s'mores, like marshmallows on a stick? <laughs> this film's wild. This film's crazy. <laughs> this, great, this is great. This is such a good film. Thank you. She's ready to die. She found out her husband cheated and she went, I'm out of here. <laughs> Bitch. Is it gonna... Yeah, an explosion. S'more, marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker, customer staff restaurant. <laughs> And you eat your fucking cheeseburger, bitch. Eat, you deserve it. You deserve that fucking cheeseburger. Good for her. Good for her. Girl. <laughs> oh my god. 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 That was. <laughs> that was good. It took me a while to kind of be, it took me a while to kind of understand what was going on in this film. Like what was the meaning behind it? What, wh why are we doing this? Like, I don't get it. And then as soon as it kind of got to like the, 
sexual harassment the and then the snobbery was also involved beforehand and things like that it's kind of what is wrong with the food industry and many industries so it's kind of like a satire on like the snobbery of it the pretentiousness of it the wealth of it the sexual harassment that happens in the kitchen from like chefs i used to work in a kitchen and some of the chefs were absolutely horrible like it's just from the snobbery of the rich it's just yeah it's just really it's like it tells tells a really solid i guess a harsh truth on the industry but it was so good it was actually quite funny as well i did i, I generally had i generally walked into that film not knowing a single thing about it. All I knew was Anya Taylor-Joy, Ralph Fiennes, and Nicholas Holt. That's all I knew who was in it. Um, and it truly surprised me. It truly surprised me. I thought it was great. Um, I like I said, I thought it was going. To, I, I thought it was going to be like New York, Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay, something about cooking. I guess it is about cooking, but didn't expect it to go so dark and twisted, but then also be so funny. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I love a film that comes in just like completely diverts expectations. And um, I really enjoyed that. I love a film with Anya Taylor-Joy in it. I think she's a fantastic actress. But yeah, um, let me know what you thought about the film. Did you enjoy it? Did you find it wild? You must have found it wild. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a like, you can comment, you can subscribe. I've got some more reactions coming your way. You can go back and watch some reactions that I've done. It's a fun time on this channel. I'm slowly building up my audience again and we're just here for a good time. I hope I made you laugh and until next time, peace. Slay the mother tucking world.